Now I thought it would be interesting to kind of present you with the different cases and you need to identify the disorder depicted in that case. So case study one. Irene occasionally experiences unpredictable episodes of intense dread accompanied by chest pains and a sensation of smothering. Her symptoms have no apparent physical cause. Irene suffers from obsessive compulsive disorder, panic disorder, agoraphobia, post-traumatic stress disorder, antisocial personality disorder. Irene suffers from B, panic disorder. Panic disorder is an anxiety disorder marked by unpredictable minute-long episodes of intense dread in which the person experiences terror and accompanying chest pain, choking, or other frightening sensations. Um, anxiety disorders are psychological disorders criticized by distressing persistent anxiety or maladaptive behaviors that reduce anxiety. In general, um, anxiety disorder is when a person is continually tense, apprehensive, and in a state of automatic nervous system arousal. Case number two. Um, Jason is so pro preoccupied with staying clean that he showers as many as ten times each day. Jason suffers from major depressive disorder, paranoid schizophrenia, panic disorder, bipolar disorder, or obsessive compulsive disorder. Jason suffers from E, obsessive compulsive disorder. OCD is an anxiety disorder criticized by unwanted repetitive thoughts and or actions. Case study three. Although she escaped from war-torn Iraq two years ago, Lila still has haunting memories and nightmares. She is also severely depressed. What is Lila suffering from? Lila is suffering from C, post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD is an anxiety disorder criticized by haunting memories nightmares, social withdrawal, jumpy anxiety, and or insomnia that lingers for four weeks or more after the traumatic experience. One day, Matt um, felt optimistic, energetic, um, and on the top of the world. A few days later, he felt hopeless um, and lethargic. He thought that the future looked very grim. What does Matt suffers from? Matt suffers from E, bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder is mood disorder, right? In which a person alternates between hopelessness and lethargy of depression and the overexcited state of mania. Um, this mood disorder is marked by hyper hyperactive, wildly optimistic states. So alternating between the depressive and the optimistic states. Claiming that she heard a voice commanding her to warn other people that eating is harmful, Sandy attempts to convince other restaurant patrons not to eat. The psychiatric uh, um, to whom she is referred uh, finds that Sandy's thinking and speech are often fragmenting and incoherent. In addition, Sandy has an unreasonable fear that someone is out to get her. Consequentially, she trusts no one. Sandy suffers from A. Paranoid schizophrenia. Schizophrenia, as we, no as we noted already, is a group of severe disorders criticized by de um, disorganized and delusional thinking, disturbed perceptions, and inappropriate emotions and actions. Delusions are false beliefs, often of prosecution or grandeur, that may accompany psychotic disorders. Those with paranoid tendencies are particularly prone to delusions of prosecution. 
So for example, someone with paranoid schizophrenia may jump from one idea to another, even within sentences, thus creating a word salad. Bob has never been able to keep a job. He's been in and out of jail for charges such as theft, sexual assault, and spousal abuse. Bob suffers from D, antisocial personality disorder. Antisocial personality disorder is a personality disorder in which the person, usually a man, but not necessarily, exhibits a lack of um, conscience for wrongdoing, even towards friends and family members. The person may also be aggressive and ruthless, or a clever um, con artist. Sadie is so fearful of being overwhelmed by anxiety that she rarely steps outside of her apartment. The thought of going shopping and getting lost in a crowd terrifies her. So she has her groceries delivered. Because of her fear, she earns her living as a freelance writer and works at home. Sadie suffers from B. Agoraphobia. Phobia is an anxiety disorder marked by persistent irrational fear and avoidance of a specific object or situation. In this particular case, agoraphobia is the fear or avoidance of situation in which escape might be difficult or help unavailable when panic strikes. And the last case. For the last month, Gabriel has felt lethargic and has been unable um, to get out of bed in the morning. She has withdrawn from friends and family because she feels worthless and unlovable. Gabriel suffers from A. Major Depressive Disorder This type of disorder is a mood disorder in which a person experiences, in the absence of drugs or medical condition, two or more weeks of significantly depressed moods, feelings of worthlessness, or diminished interest or pleasure in most activities. Comorbidity is when us, an individual is, suffers from more than one mental disorder at the same time. What happened was um, the it develops when the primary problems start to cause secondary problems. And more than 40% of people with mental disorders are actually comorbid, meaning they have more than one mental disorder. So we kind of talked about it for the specific um, disorders, but in general, what causes psychological disorders? We talked about biological and organic factors, so potentially genetic defects, poor prenatal care, exposure to toxic chemicals or drugs. Uh, psychological factors, stress, low intelligence, learning disorders. Family factors, parents who are immature or criminal or abusive, poor child discipline, bad communication with family. Social conditions, poverty, stressful living conditions, homelessness, etc. All of this can be potential causes for psychological disorders. I thought it was very important to talk about um, suicide as at sometimes um, it um, is associated with some of the disorders, in particular the mood ones. And in fact, 90% of people who commit suicide had a diagnosable mental disorder, usually depression or substance abuse disorder. Risk factors might be drug or alcohol abuse, prior suicide attempt, um, being um, having feelings of hopelessness or worthlessness, being impulsive, aggressive behavior, panic attack, shame, failure, rejection. And it's not necessary to be uh, for these factors to occur for a pr uh, prolonged time. Preventing suicide. Um, it's important to note the signs of it in order to be able to prevent it. So if somebody has um, 
says direct threats to commit suicide. That obviously um, should lead us to kind of pay attention more to what's happening with that individual and potentially um, offer help. Um, if the person is preoccupied with death, if they're depressed, if they have um, rage or anger or potentially seeking of revenge, aggressions or very high risk-taking activities, alcohol or drug use, we're not talking about the occasional beer, okay? We're, we're talking about a substantial alcohol and drug use. Withdrawal from contact with others, so isolation. Uh, no sense of purpose in life, so saying sentences such as like, there's no point, what's the point of it, what's the purpose, there's no purpose. Sudden swings in the mood and personality change. So if you or people around you might have some of these um, elements, um, there are people, even on campus, that are available um, to talk, and it's all confidential, of course, and if you see somebody who needs help or if it is you who need the help, there's nothing wrong with asking the help from others. Um, that's all I have for you on the topic of psychological disorders.